Right, slow multiplication. Again, 3 by 1, but this time with decimals. Okay, so long multiplication, 3 by 1, but this time with decimals. So success criteria, the first thing you need to do, it's exactly the same as long multiplication with 3 by 1, uh, 3 by 1. only with decimals there's two extra bits that you add in. One is, forget about the decimal, right off the bat, just forget about the decimal. Then use your life one to kill all the numbers above as you did previously. Carry the tens and add to the next answer. Then you ask yourself two questions at the very end. How many decimal places are in the question? And that's how many you need in your answer. But this is the most important one. Just forget the decimal. And then, how many decimal places in the question? And that's how many are in your answer. So let's do a couple of examples. Just so you know what I mean. So we've got 36.4 times 3. So forget about that decimal, so I'm just going to do 364 times 3. Simple. We know how to do this. So, life 1 kills everything above it. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 6 is 18. Add the 1. Don't forget that. That 1 is 19. So put down another 1. Carry. 3 times 3 is 9. Add the 1 is 10. Now, this is the bit where we haven't quite finished. So we look at the question. How many numbers are after the decimal place? Or to the right of it. And there's one. So in our answer, we need one number after the decimal point. So all we do is put it in. It's as easy as that. So the answer to 36.4 times 3 is 109.2. Let's try another one. 8.96 this time, times 8. So number one, forget about the decimal point. So 896 times 8. We can all do this. 8 times 6 is 48. Put down the 8, carry the 4. 8 times 9 is 72. Add the 4 is 76. Carry the 7. 8 times 8 is 64. Add the 7. Gives me 71. Now, then I think about decimal places. So I look at the question, how many numbers are after the decimal place? And I've got 1, 2. So in my answer, I have to have 2. So what I'll do is pop it in. Simple. So 2 here, 2 there. It's that easy. So it's 71.68. Now, have a little go yourself at this one. So it's 7.24 times 5. So first of all, forget about the decimal point. So, I'll let uh, you pause. If you want to have a go, I'll go through the answer in 3 seconds. So 3, 2, 1. So forget about the decimal point. 724 times 5. 5 times 4. Remember everything's being killed for the first left below. 5 times 4 is 20. Put down the 0. Carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Add the 2 is 12. Carry that 1 from the 12. 5 times 7 is 35. Add the 1 is 36. Done. Now we look at the end. We've got two numbers after the decimal place. So in our answer we have to have 2. 1, 2. So my answer is 36.20 or 36.2. Either or. Both are correct. And that is it.